For some, hailing a cab is now as simple as pulling out their cell phone and using an app. Anyone needing a ride can be matched with drivers offering them. Well, as NBC Charlotte's Bora Kim reports, its popularity is now drawing some fire from their regulated competitors. You may have seen the pink mustaches all around town. Everyone needs to get places in the city, and Lyft takes it one step further. Just three weeks ago, the San Francisco based company launched a Lyft service in Charlotte. It's now among a growing number of mobile digital dispatching services operating now or plans to in the Queen City. Quest a driver, it shows you how far away they are. It shows you a picture of the driver, but also a picture of the car. Lyft is touted as a ride sharing service, but drivers make money through donations. Nations the riders offer. What's different? These companies are not held to the same regulations as taxi cab companies and chauffeur services. Rules which are laid forward in the passenger vehicle for higher ordinance, otherwise known as PVH. We know that the PVH ordinance will need to be revised. The other side doesn't have to, right? That becomes very difficult for the two to coexist, and I don't know how the two can coexist. The ordinance regulates fares, licenses, and permits to drivers' backgrounds and vehicle inspections. Tom Holden represents a local limo service and believes the city has two options. You have to either concern yourself with safety for the passengers in the city and everybody's on the same level playing field, or we abandon the entire PBH system and we all do what we want to do. A Lyft representative was present during Monday's council workshop. It's an issue the company has tackled before in other cities and plans to do so again here. Bottom line, from pre-screening drivers to covering each driver under a comprehensive insurance policy, companies like Lyft won't back down. I really like the free market. And it may be up to the council to step right in. We got to figure out how to level that playing field and still at the same time not stifle creative thinking. Bora Kim, NBC Charlotte.